Which is better for gaming, Intel or AMD? Hey YouTube, Actrons here, and today we're going to answer that question. Now, there's this big myth uh, that a lot of people believe that Intel CPUs somehow are beneficial when gaming. And, uh, you know, keep your hands away from AMD. Uh, you only lose frames running that. And, um, you know, that, that simply really isn't true. Um, I, I really don't understand where that came from. Now, it is true. I'm, I'm not going to go off saying here that uh, AMD processors are faster than Intel's or, you know, offer more performance than Intel's at, uh, you know, lower heat and power consumption, which is simply not true. AMD CPUs, especially their bulldozer series, are a lot more inefficient. If you take one single core, um, you know, your you know, Intel's Pentium processors actually have more performance than uh, their bulldozer uh, cores. But, but, you know, working together and in gaming performance, Real world, real world applications, people that you know that what people would use them for, um, you know, really, there's there's no difference. And uh, today, I hope to show you. So on one side, for Intel, we've got an i7 3770K, brand new, um, costing you around three hundred dollars, maybe a little more. And on the other side, we've got you know an AMD FX 6100. I'm going to put both these CPUs uh, against each other in Battlefield 3. And uh, I'm going to talk a little more about some things after that. And I hope to clear this little issue up with you people, believing that somehow this is magic. Uh, it's, it's, it's not true. Now we've got two systems, one for each CPU, um, and they'll be, both be running with a 7970 as a GPU, so we can com compare the uh, CPUs exactly. So the AMD system we're using today, which will be the black NZXT case, as opposed to the white one, which will be the uh, Intel system, uh, has a Gigabyte 970A UD3 motherboard. Um, uh, its system is installed on a 60 gigabyte Intel 330 SSD. Uh, we're running, of course, a 7970, 650 watt, super flow or power supply, 8 gigs of 1600 memory. Um, what else do we have? What's about it? One of the important parts. Okay, so let me just turn down the volume. Um, I will be showing the frames with uh, Fraps. So, link will be in the description if you don't know Fraps. You should know Fraps. Um, not so good for recording. I prefer DX Tori. Uh, that's a whole different story, but I'm, j I'm just going to use it because it's uh, free and quick to get and uh, to show my frame right here. So, the game is running off of a, a Western Digital Blue hard drive. Um, but uh, that should only uh, show, you know, loading times. Um, the actual performance should be very similar. I'll just Okay, so the settings I will be using um, uh, should be, yeah, the maximum ultra settings that are available in the game. Um, I am running on drivers, uh, I remember correctly, the Catalyst 12.8, um, so it should be pretty good there. Again, this is a cutscene. God damn, let me turn down the volume. Okay. So, into gameplay here. This is uh, running on a 7970 and the AMD FX, as I might want to say again, on ultra settings. Now, we're getting over 100 frames per second here. The beginning sequence. Down to 70. Okay. 
Um, yeah, we're sticking above 60 easily. 70 frames per second. Let's take this shotgun here. I see you. Rolls on you, stick. Okay. Um, we're hitting 80s here, 90s, 100 frames per second. I don't have a gun. Okay. What the hell? Well, I'll knife you then. How's that? I uh, forgot to pick one up. But... Bye. What the hell? Why don't I have a gun? <laughs> Let me get one real quick. Okay, well, frame rate. There's a lot of burning stuff, shooting, going stuff around here. Above 60 frames per second on the ultra settings. Again, my video card is not optimized in any way right now. And this is just a quick demonstration. As you see, um, pretty much playable. I'm going to skip to the next level here, so uh, for you it will only be a second. Okay, so uh, this next mission is a lot more, um, you know, intensive. So uh, we'll be seeing the main differences in this mission. Okay, so we're down for 45 frames per second. Still feels playable though, somewhat. 50 frames per second. And this is a lot more intensive scene here. It's a lot of lighting and large models. All right, well, we're, we're keeping it above 40. It pretty much never goes under 45 at this point. And we're slowly marching back up to 50. Uh, 46, 47, 48, 49. Yeah, I can't sprint. Sorry about that. You know, we're dealing with the PLR insurgents crossing over from Iran. Okay, yeah. Sticking in the high high 50s, low 60s. 70 frames per second. So that, that scene outside there is very, very complex. General level. Tax your card a lot. ID, your target. What is this? School? Alright, keep forgetting. 70 frames per second. 76, 75. Let me get into a combat situation. Okay, so uh, low 40s here. There's some smoke going on. The particles always takes takes the frame right down. Let's see if I can try to not die here. If I can figure out the controls, the default control. Ah. Uh, Well, uh, the frame rate is still playable, as you can see, somewhat. Um, uh, it, definitely playable on high settings. Anyway, just turn off the. Anyway, so um, as you can see, the frame rate is. Uh, it never dips below 40, put it that way, and, and most of the time it's above 60 frames per second. Um, running on ultra settings, again, this is a uh, 7970 as a GPU, a stock, running at stock clocks, everything, no overclocking, um, and a uh, AMD FX 6100 running at stock speeds, and uh, they can perform pretty well. Now uh, let's head over to the Intel rig. Okay, uh, here's the Intel system. Like I said earlier, designated by the white case, um, running an i7 3770K at its stock 3.5 gigahertz. We got 16 gigs of uh, memory clocked at also 1600 megahertz, and um, uh, yeah, the boot drive is also a 120 uh, gigabyte um, 
Intel 330 series SSD. Running 7970 as before. Okay, well, getting in here. 80, 70, 70 frames per second. 100, 110. Okay, well, 75, about the same as we got before with the uh, $200 cheaper. There, it never goes 70, 80, uh, a little, little higher, about five frames higher. And uh, the $200 cheaper uh, FX6100. Climb up, 100. Again, pretty complex scene out here, running around 70, 80 frames per second. Actually have a gun this time. Okay, he just jumped off. He just like fell over. Okay, whoa. Yeah, I know you're supposed to crouch. Okay, we should be getting into the more intensive stuff now, in the second level. Sixty-three frames per second. I remember this being about the same on the FX. Copy that. Yo, does anyone else really not get what the fuck we're doing here? I'm being a fucking hippie, Montez. Just saying, bro. This is about the PLR. We should just be in a rent, not a rack. They're crossing borders, dog. PLR is the right people, all right? They don't make them any righter. <laughs> Again, pretty complicated scene here. 50. Okay. 48 frames per second. Okay, well, went down to 40 there. 43, something like that. Okay, I died. Well, I hope this serves as a good demonstration um, to show that, really, when it comes to gaming, the difference between Intel and AMD CPUs isn't that much. In fact, I'm running an AMD CPU, six cores, extremely inefficient cores, um, against a modern uh, Intel CPU, i7, uh, you know, running with a 22 nanometer manufacturing process, and uh, so on. Um, and the difference in gaming, if there was any, you know, uh, is maybe five to seven frames per second, and the price difference, you know, is 200 plus dollars. So you gotta ask yourself, um, is this clever? Do I need this? Um, anyway, I hope you liked my video. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And uh, check out some of my other videos too.